The greatest of all commandments is love. We read in the Gospel of St. Luke, a scholar came up to Jesus and said, asked him what was the greatest commandment. And Jesus, citing the great Shema of the Old Testament, said, We should love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our soul, and all of our being, and then to love our neighbors ourselves. Then after that, Jesus gives the parable of the Good Samaritan. So of all the virtues that we should be trying to grow in, love of God and love of neighbor should be the principal one, the one of greater, greatest importance. St. Thomas Aquinas gives us an analogy. If you, you look at your hand, your hand has the palm and the five fingers. Thomas Aquinas says that the palm symbolizes charity and the five fingers that extend from the palm are the other virtues. So when the palm is growing, the other virtues will necessarily grow. I'd like to give you three ways in which we can all grow in love or charity. Charity we can define as supernatural love. First one, let's go to St. Ignatius. St. Ignatius Loyola insists that we beg for the grace. Why not beg to be able to live out this biblical passage, to really love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength. Beg for the grace. Transform that Luke chapter 10, verse 25 to 28 into a prayer. Second way to grow in love, charity, is to receive the Most Holy Eucharist. The Most Holy Eucharist is truly the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus Christ. So by receiving the Eucharist, we actually have a heart transplant because the heart of Jesus Christ is transplanted into our hearts. And there's a metamorphosis, there's a transformation every time we receive this greatest of all gifts, the Eucharist. And finally, our charity should extend toward our neighbor, as we read in the Good Samaritan. Strive always to serve your neighbor, to be kind to your neighbor. And the best thing you can do to your neighbor is try to bring your neighbor closer to God. So remember, my friends, that John of the Cross... St. John of the Cross, the mystical doctor of the church, says, In the twilight of our existence, we will be judged on love. So let's try to grow to love God with all of our heart, all of our mind, all of our soul, all of our being, and to manifest this in an ardent love for our neighbor.